Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, and everything in between. To more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, before you have a heart attack and you're like, wait a minute, what part is this? Did I click on the right video? Didn't you end the last part in Kakariko Village? The answer to that is yes. Yes, I did. And even though I did plan to, you know, in the next part, head to the Fairy Fountain and, you know, head over to the village we need to go to to unlock more trinkets and stuff for our Sheikah Slate so, you know, we won't have any problems. Uh, in between those recordings, I did what I said I was going to do, you know, and I went hunting for some shrines, right? I haven't done any of them. Like I said, I'm going to do all the shrines on, uh, on camera. And even though I'm saying that right now, I feel like I'm going to regret it later. Don't worry. Um, but I came over here to this island because I was getting the shrine over there, over yonder, right? I was unlocking that one so we can fast travel to it. And I said, I could have sworn there's a shrine over here on this island. I then appeared on this island and I was greeted with this wonderful, 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 um, what button is it? Nope, that's the Sheikah Slate button. What's the button for? Uh, here we go. A wonderful shrine quest. Sometimes these appear, and this one is a trial in which uh, the keeper of the shrine wants me to do some bullshit on this island without any of my gear, so he tuck all my shit, and I also can't fast travel away from here. So, now I'm kind of forced to record this at a time of day that I don't want to. But because I said I'm going to show all the shrines, and because I want to get a move on with this playthrough, here we are. I haven't upgraded my, you know, I haven't upgraded my stamina or my hearts or anything like that, you know. It's all still the same. All I did was walk around painstakingly. So, he wants me to get some orbs or some shit and rely on my cunning to do so. So, I can either grab orbs and run or find a nice area. You see nothing, you see nothing, you fucking bokoblins, or whatever the fuck you're called. Come on, Link. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna push this. I'm, I'm, I'm not strong enough. <laughs> Damn it. Really? 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 Really, you fucking slime-ass motherfucker? You can't leave me alone? For a second? Yeah, go slime away somewhere else. Not over here, buddy. Not over here. I don't even know if I have to kill these people over here. People? Are they people? <laughs> Are they people or are they animals? The world may never know. Wow, sh <laughs> Wow, Link. Thanks for giving me away. <laughs> eh. There we go. Yellow choo choo jelly. Roasted hydromelon. If I get hit once, it's over, by the way. So all this is useless. I need to deliver a spear, an orb or something. Oh, the fucking Hinox has it. Great. Ah, what's this? Please be a weapon or clothes or something. Soldier spear. Okay. We can clear that area up there. I'm not. I, Jesus, I didn't want to record this right now. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I really didn't want to record this right now. So, I'm not really enthusiastic about doing this right now. This is a metal sphere. I gotta get rid of the electric choo choo jelly first, because if I hit it with metal, I'm fucked. Oh my god, he lit his fucking shit on fire. Move, Link. 
There we go. Ooh, okay. Lucky me, I guess. I thought I was going to get hit by that. Loco Spear? Loco Spear? There you go. Problem solved. So now this area is opened up for me when I need to come back here. And this is why we have these boulders. Did that not hurt you? Are you not injured? Okay. Well, uh... Well, damn, I done fucked up, I guess. I need to kill him, too. And I'm, I'm stuck on this fucking rock. Maybe I can try swimming away? I feel like if I tried swimming away, the game would just tell me no. Are you really about to walk all the fuck away up here? Damn it. Oh god, my aim is terrible. Oh, shit. I'm out of here. Thanks a lot for doing nothing, boulders. Thanks a lot for doing nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed that music, because that's one of the few soundtracks that you'll hear in this game out of the total of three of them. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Music of the year. My ass. My shell shaded wink ass. Oh my fucking god. You guys are asking for way too much. Okay, thanks for giving me a bow with no fucking arrows. You see nothing. You see nothing. This is not fun. This is not fun for me. This is aggravating. <laughs> oh my god. Mine. Fuck, how am I supposed to move that out the way? I don't have anything to hit it with. Can you shoot the arrow, please, so I can have something, please? Thank you. Come on. Really? Ah, oh, fuck. Lighter, Link. Lighter. Okay. That didn't kill the guy like I thought it would. But I can keep luring him to this over here. Come on, buddy. It's gotta be like another one around here somewhere. Oh shit. What the hell happened to that guy? <laughs> Fucking went flying. Oh! I thought I could run past him. You know what? I needed that game over. What the hell is my dog doing? Hey, what are you doing? There's nothing over there for you. You ate already today, so I don't know why you're standing near your food bowl. Huh? I got all my stuff back. 
All I had to do was die? Oh, well. Well, now, now I can't say no to the challenge. But first, before that, there are there is a couple of things I, I do want to get out the way, honestly. Just so that I can actually do shit off screen in peace. Right? So let's go see the uh let's go see the fairy. Right, and then we'll make our way to the village that we need to go to, grab that stuff. And then <coughs> And then I think for the most part I can you know what, I'll, I'll do a couple of shrines too, right, since I'm here, since I'm here recording right now. It would make things a little bit easier down the road. At least, like, climbing fucking rocks and shit, mountains and shit, so I would have more stamina. So, let's go and, let's go and do all that bullshit right now. I don't know what those little spirit guys are used for. I'm not sure if you can even catch them, but I feel like you can. So up here in Kakariko Village, like if you just head up to the um, hillside or whatever, you can also get these fairies if you sneak up on them. Right? I hate sneaking in this game. Yes, I know there's clothing and stuff you can get to help you sneak and all that other bullshit, but it's a pain in the ass. I don't need any fairies right now. I don't know what the fuck I would do with fairies. Boy. Sweet boy. Please. Listen to my story. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm the great fairy, Kotera. I think I think that's how you pronounce her name. This place was once a beautiful spring. But at but uh, blah, 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 blah. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. Hmm. Someone's asking for too much. <laughs> As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I, I, I thought I read that wrong, so that's why I stuttered. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is a hundred. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over, quickly. In order for me to regain my powers, I need a hundred. Here you go. Okay. Thank you, you're too kind. Ah, oh, yes, the power! It's overflowing! Why, hello, ma'am. Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay is just so intoxicating. Did I say that right? I feel like I didn't say it right. <laughs> I, I felt like I forgot what that word was as I was saying it. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. What is wrong with you? Stop walking behind me. Stop doing that. My dog keeps walking behind me. Zero, get over here. Get over here. No, don't you walk to your bed. You get over here now. You get over here now, mister. Now. I got my fucking eyes on you. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. The least I can do, but I'll need necessary materials. Mm. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little. Well, I don't have anything I want you to enhance right now. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. I do. I'm wearing the hood. Lady took all my damn money. But anyways, I should get some back pretty soon. So, you find great fairy fountains. There's three of them in total. I believe there's three of them in total. And each of them, uh, each of them requires materials to upgrade certain clothing that you get. And, you know, the more upgrades you get, the more, the more bonuses you get to the clothing for also having the whole set and everything else and all that other bullshit. And, uh, yeah, you know, same old, same old. So basically what I'm saying is, hey, I hope you like collecting in this game, because not only do you have to collect your shrine bullshit, you have to also collect Korok seeds, which I also, I think I grabbed Korok seeds in the last uh, part, but also between the the parts or whatever, I uh, got some more. 
There's oh, there's 900 Korok seeds in total. You only need 441, I believe, to max out your inventory space to get all the upgrades and shit. Uh, I'm not planning to get all of them, but if I somehow do, then sure, whatever. Same thing with the shrines. I think I said this before. I'm not planning to get all of them, but if I somehow do, then sure, whatever. Right? Um... You know, because in between the games, there's really nothing else I can do but look around for shrines. So if I run into some Korok seeds, I'll, I'll grab them. And if I, you know, if the shrines are available to me and I feel like doing them, I'll do them. You know, I'll do them on camera, but I'll, I'll unlock them regardless because they're fast travel points. You can never say no to more fast travel points. Right? So, I'm running over here right now because I want to show what you can do with those Korok seeds. <coughs> And yes, I know some people are watching this and they're like, Of course I know. Why are you tutorialing me? Well, some people just never had this game and never played it. I know some of those people. And they might end up watching this. Alright. So, it'll be nice to explain to them. Um, I grabbed this guy on the way out when I was running around earlier between the parts. Oh, also, sometimes you'll run to travelers, right? They'll just talk and say shit, right? Some of them will have side quests for you and stuff like that. And sometimes you'll run to a traveler. I'm sorry, what are you asking me? I'm selling a few things. Hmm. Fine, I'll take a look. I'm broke as shit, though. But, like, I'll take a look. Ooh. Okay. That's cool, I guess. See you later. Okay, um... Fucking... What was I saying? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, sometimes you'll come across travelers, um, and when you do so, uh, sometimes you'll run across a traveler that's like waving hi to Link. Most of the time, it's like an assassin in disguise from the Yaga clan, and they will fight you. And if you beat them, you get a mighty banana and some, uh, some rupees. Mighty banana is just food, you can use it to cook or whatever. But anyways, here's what you do with the Korok seeds. You come to this asshole. Etsu. Shalaka? You. You can see me? I can't see you. Sholoko? <laughs> Sholoko? Then how are you talking to me, silly boy? <laughs> Shalaza, Shalaka. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hetsu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Uh, see, si. please go get my maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. Listen, Holmes, I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back. <laughs> he just becomes, he just becomes like a fucking cholo. <laughs> you guys ever played Disgaea 3? <laughs> the Vato Brothers. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Hey guys, what's up? Ow, dickhead. Oh my god. They're beating me up more than I thought they would. Alright. Let's try and do this bullshit flurry that decides to work whenever it feels like. What's my most damaging weapon I got? An arm. Stay away from me, guys. I'm armed. Catch. My weapon now. Ouch. Motherfucker blocked me. <laughs> he threw a rock at his own, <laughs> his own teammate. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, well, he fell off. Okay, well. He's dead. Let nature do the rest. Alright. Let's get your fucking maracas. You want to make sure you pick up all these monster parts, by the way. You're going to need them later. Either for potions or for getting clothing items. Ugh. 
you're gonna have to collect a lot of bullshit in this game. Here you go. Shalakala. Those are... Those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Here you go. What if I just pushed them off the cliff? <laughs> Shalaka! But wait. There's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had... I don't like that he's saying Shoko because there's a character in Neo The World Ends With You and her name is Shoko. <laughs> And I like her. If I had just one Korok seed, I should sing and dance and use my power to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory and expansion, so let me know if you find... If I ever ran to anybody in the real world and they said this shit to me, I would fucking call the police. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought it'd be... I never thought it'd be the tar... What? I never be the target of. Blah, 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 I can't read. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. But wait. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one to, from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I will make your inventory bigger. Sure. Shalaka. So which stash do you want? I want more shields. I think I need an adult. Did you just come all over me? Ta na 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 na. Your shield stash has been expanded, Shalaka. I still smell some Korok seeds on you. Do you want me to expand them? So this is what you do with your Korok seeds. You expand either your weapon stash or bow stash or shield stash. At some point, um, he will ask for more Korok seeds in order to expand it. So it won't stay at, f at 1 or 5 forever. It will go to like 10 or 20 or some dumb shit. Um, I recommend getting your shield stuff first because being able to... If you have a shield, you can deflect really powerful shit. And you can kill really powerful enemies early on. Um, bows are kind of useless to upgrade. Because if you ain't got no arrows, then what the fuck you're going to do? Right? And you're going to be starving for arrows in this game like a motherfucker. Weapon stash is cool, but later down the road, once you find like better weapons and stuff, and you know where to just grab them, right? And if you get one weapon in particular later, you really don't need it all that much. So maybe expand it like twice, I would say. But if you're going for like you know, full inventory expansion, you're going to have to need like 441 Korok seeds. They're not hard to get, but it's just tedious, right? So I'm just going to upgrade my shields. I'm going to skip this shit. Alright, how much you need now? Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me, Shoko. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring me some... Uh, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. What? Oh, he's going back to the Korok Forest. Okay. Actually, you know... <laughs> I, I forgot that he does that. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, I'll show you where the Korok Forest is at some point when I'm ready to get there. For inventory expansion, I don't really need that much right now to help me, like, adventure and shit, right? But, um, you know, when I'm ready, when I'm ready to show you where the forest is at, I'll show it to you. And I'll show you, you know, some cool shit. But for right now, I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, let's head back over to Kakariko for a hot second. I also want to show something else off while I'm doing all this. So, eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that since last time, Link is wearing a hood, right? He has a hood over his head. I didn't have that last time. I'm just going to show you, you know, where you can usually get clothing items and stuff. I mean, it's self-explanatory, but... Self-explanatory, but, you know, I want to be thorough. So, anyways... Fly on down... Actually, did I get the Korok seed here? I did get the Korok seed here. And there's a nice little goddess statue there for if I had any shrine orbs. 
So over here is a clothing shop. You'll see the icon on the map. You walk on in there, and for a hefty, hefty fucking price, you can buy clothing. You get the defense values on the side. You know, the arrow shows you what your defense value is changing to. Uh, most of the time, I'm probably going to be running around with the Hylian tunic because it's one of the easiest ones to upgrade, right? And you can upgrade it pretty good and get pretty solid defense, you know, from, from the beginning. It's just expensive to get right now, so that's why I don't have it. Uh, also having the Sheikah stuff, isn't that lovely? It's limited edition enhanced exclusive. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless. Yeah, I was I was gonna I was gonna explain that. So the Hylian set doesn't have a um even when you upgrade it, I don't think it has an extra ability. But the Sheikah set does, right? And you know, if you if you're wearing the whole set, then sometimes you get like an extra ability on top of that, I believe. But don't quote me on that. And yes, all the stuff stacks together. Sometimes people will have requests for you. This guy wants me to go find his chickens. My bad, his cuckoos. How dare I call them chickens? How dare I? What's wrong with me? Alright, I'll go find them. When I fucking feel. But I'll find them. Alright. I have ten in total. Okay. We have ten in total, so I need to go find... Seven? So, I have a number of uh, side quests we can do here. Right? Most side quests... Uh, are just gonna give you either like a weapon or rupees the most important ones i would say give you rupees because they everything is expensive as fuck in this game right so you're gonna be starving for rupees and enemies don't drop rupees like the, there's only a handful of enemies that really drop rupees and i think that's just the yaga clan um what else is there uh yeah i'm actually gonna show off you know just a nice side quest that i got earlier hopefully actually now that i think about it oh man i didn't find any like what the hell is over here village oh yeah the village i guess this is pretty close i mean it's also a horse stable most most uh horse stables have like a shrine near it but the one where my horse is at right now fucking i like i didn't find any shrine near it but also, I didn't feel like looking that hard because I climbed like the fucking mountain like right behind it. Now I, I didn't find the shrine up there, and I was like, "Oh, come the fuck on! Are you serious?" <laughs> and then a fucking dragon attacked me. So I'm over here right now. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask this dude over here to fucking give me my horse. I have three horses now. So besides Epona. Oh, also Beetles here from all the other Zelda games, but he's like super swole now, which is awesome. I love super swole beetle. Oh shit. What do you want from me? You over here. Yeah. We have a horse. We can help you change its gear or main style. What? Wait. Really? Was that always a thing in this game? Hey. Uh... I want to take a horse. Which horse do you want? I want Wingnut. It's the name of my horse, Wingnut. You got a Pona, Jimbo, and Wingnut. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. I really fucking hope that in the next game they can just cut the bullshit with the whole "your horse is too far away to hear you." Like, fuck you. I got a magical Sheikah slate. Put a fucking earpiece in the horse. Put a teleportation piece in the horse. Do something. All right, lady. You, oh, I'm, I'm trying. Sorry. Hi. Hello there, traveler. Welcome to the stable. We'll stay a while, won't you? Oh. Mm. Oh, that's a mighty fine horse you got there. Fucking horse girls. If you're interested, maybe I can help you change its gear or mane. But you should know, I'm only interested in horses that are raised with lots of love. How's your horse faring on that front? He's pretty okay. Oh. We're not maxed, but he's pretty okay. <laughs> nice, this little one has calm eyes, but it doesn't fully really trust you yet. You need to show me some more love. Oh, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wingnut. Hey. I just got it too, so that's why. <sighs> Alright, what about Pona? 
Apona doesn't like me either? Damn, Apona, what the fuck? Aww. Jimbo likes me. It took Jimbo like two seconds to like me. He has a gentle nature. Aww. Yeah. I actually want to see this because I didn't I didn't think this was a thing in this game. I just never cared about the horses that much because I'm usually just fast driving all over the fucking place. Walk over there with my horse. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, trick, yeah! <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Mm. He loves me. Ah. Uh, this one's eyes positively sparking with affection. I can tell this little one. Fucking, your eyes are sparkling with affection. Stop looking at me like that. You creep me out. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Looks like you don't have any other yet, so I can't help you put that one. Change the main. Oh, I didn't know you can edit your horse. <laughs> That's cool. Long green main. <laughs> Long blue one. Okay. Is this new? This must have been in an update or something. I don't remember this being a thing. Learn something new every day. Change saddle. Looks like you don't have any other saddles yet, but I... No. Where the fuck do I get those things? Whoa! Looks great. Please come back anytime you feel like changing a horse's gear. Do you know where I can get all the saddles? Is it your first time? Yeah. I see. Okay. Nowadays, bands of riders roam the plains, acting like they own the place. Uh huh. That's cool, lady. You want me to get? Uh, fine. I'll get rid of them. I want to head to a different location. It's near the other location is pretty nearby. But um. But uh. You know, I guess I can do those side quests here, because that I was gonna do that regardless. I was gonna do a side quest, so Come here. I hate horse combat. I hate it in this game. Twilight Princess did it the best. Really? One hit? Hmm. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back my rage. I said it at the beginning of this playthrough, I'll say it again. This game is not for me. No, no, no. Ah. Uh, I could save this for later, but, you know, like, why would I do that? And I feel spiteful now. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you feeling? Not so fucking tough now when you're dead, huh? Don't give a fuck about the horse. I want revenge. <laughs> no. I don't have any space for that. And I'm out of, uh, I'm out of whatchamacallit. Arrows. I'm out of, uh, Koopas! <laughs> Turn to Chris Pratt. Koopas! The horse got in the way. Ah! Uh, son of a bitch.
Okay, I'm not sure if I explained it, by the way, in this playthrough, but yeah, if you dodge at the last second, um, you get a little witch time thing. But also, it decides to activate whenever the fuck it wants, half the time, so don't, re like, rely on it, but don't, you know what I mean? It's kind of finicky, it chooses when it wants to do whatever the hell it wants to do. So anyways, usually, when you finish side quests or whatever, you get, um, you know, the best thing you can get is rupees, because you need them. Real bad. Ah, uh, took care of those hooligans. Thanks for the fucking carrot that I can just go find by myself, you fucking... <laughs> you old bitch. I can't wait for you to die. <laughs> <laughs> Just become so toxic. I'm sorry, since when did I become Yukari? That's for all the true Persona fans out there. Actually, that's a lie. That's for all the... That's for all the moderate Persona fans out there. True Persona fans out there. You don't want me talking about Baofu now, do you? <laughs> Let me talk about Baofu for a hot moment. Let me talk about Troy Baker. <laughs> Let me mimic the sound of a car. Mark dances. Yeah, that's right, I've been around the block. I know what I'm talking about. I think this is the way I want to go, right? Yes, this is the way I want to go. I'm a chef, chef too.